digital image processing, allow manipulating images, to obtain data useful in the field of life and environmental science. This video tutorial, shows some basic functions of a free, image editing software called, ImageJ. First, we will see how to download the free software from the internet. Open your browser. Digit ImageJ in a search engine and select ImageJ download. Follow instructions to download an installer for your operative system. After installing the software, launch it by clicking on its icon. Click on File on the menu bar, and then click on Open. Then, select a picture that you want to process. Selecting image from the menu bar, you could change image type, adjust brightness and contrast, balance colors, resize or rotate your photo, and also add an overlay. This is the tool, Line Selection. Left clicking with your mouse, you could choose among three types of line, straight, segmented and freehand lines. Before collecting measurements, it would be necessary to set a scale. Select the tool straight, and draw a line parallel to a scale bar on the photo. If you click on the shift button while you are dragging the mouse, the line will be straight. The software supplies measurements in pixel. Selecting, set scale, you can specify a correspondence between pixel and your measure unit. If you want to measure the length of the major axis of the object, select the straight line tool, then, left click and drag your mouse to draw the line along the axis of the object. At the end, select again analyze and measure, or press Ctrl M. Before collecting measures, it is necessary to set the scale. For this reason, remember to include always a ruler, graph paper, or a scale bar in your photo. A segmented line is useful to take measurements when objects are not perfectly straight. Choosing the freehand selection tool, you could draw a freehand line. To measure angles, select the Angle tool from the toolbar. Left click and drag your mouse to draw the angle that you want to measure. When you take pictures under a light microscope, include an ocular micrometer in your photos to obtain a scale bar. Remember to take note of the power of the selected objective lens to know the correspondent length of micrometer pitches. For example, the length of a single micrometer pitch at 20 per, is 5 micrometers, therefore, 10 pitches measure 50 micrometers. In this example, we will measure the length of sclerites, which are skeletal elements of gorgonians made of calcium carbonate. ImageJ can be used to measure objects photographed by electron microscopy. Here, you can see a picture of a colonial hydrozoan. Measurements are indispensable to assess intraspecific trait variation in plastic organisms.
ImageJ allows collecting several typologies of measurements. Now, we will see how to determine a surface using the Area Selection tool. For example, to know the surface of the sponge in the picture, select the Freehand tool from the toolbar by left-clicking with your mouse. Then, click and drag to draw a line around the object you want to measure. To obtain the value of the measured object, click on, Analyze, then, Select, Measure. Results will be displayed in a new window. To get the area inside the quadrant, select the Rectangular Selection tool and draw a rectangular shape in correspondence of the surface you want to measure. ImageJ can be used to determine percent cover of benthic organisms in photographic samplings. The same species can be present in several zones of the sampled area, therefore, it would be necessary to sum the area of each portion to obtain the total cover of each species. Multiple selection with ImageJ is obtained clicking on Shift while you are selecting more than one object. On the contrary, if you want to exclude objects inside a surface, you have to alt-click while you are using the Area Selection tool. Here, you can see how to determine percent cover of several benthic organisms and how to add the collected measurements to a dataset. Open a spreadsheet with your dataset, and insert sampling date, locality, depth and coordinates. You could obtain coordinates from Google Earth. First, determine value of the sampled area, and transcript it in the spreadsheet. Now, measure areas of the identified organisms and transcript the values on the spreadsheet. Remember to shift drag from multiple selections.
Now, we will see how to automatically counting objects. Open a new image and set a scale. Select the area where you want to count objects, then, select Duplicate from the image menu and you will obtain a duplicate of your image. In the image menu, select, type and then 8-bit to obtain an 8-bit image. Now select adjust from the image menu and then, threshold. This function eliminates shades and produces a black and white image. To separate contiguous objects, select, process, binary, watershed. Now, select, Analyze Particles, from the menu Analyze. Each object, will be identified by a number. In the result table, you will find the area values for each numbered object. To save the results, select, Save As, in the File menu. When it is not possible to automatically count the objects, you could use the point tool. Shift click while you are using the point tool to obtain a multiple selection. You can choose color and size of markers by double clicking on the point tool in the toolbar. This is very useful to distinguish objects with different characteristics or different species. Moreover, use of markers should avoid double counting.